Imagine taking one of the greatest video games of all time and enhancing it with a brand new CD quality soundtrack. That's exactly what we're diving into today with this incredible unofficial Super Nintendo port of the original Legend of Zelda. Trust me, this is a game-changing experience you won't want to miss. The Legend of Zelda originally released in 1986 and it laid the foundation for the action adventure genre as we know it. The game follows the journey of a young hero named Link, tasked with rescuing Princess Zelda and saving the Kingdom of Hyrule from the clutches of the evil Ganon. The narrative is simple yet compelling, with themes of bravery, wisdom, and power playing out like a timeless legend. One of the most exciting aspects of the game is the array of cool enemy bosses that Link must face throughout his adventure. Each dungeon culminates in a thrilling boss battle where you'll encounter iconic foes like Aquamentus, the dragon-like creature that guards the first dungeon, Dodongo, the bomb-eating dinosaur, and Goma, the fearsome giant spider with a single piercing eye. These bosses each have their own unique designs and attack patterns, adding to the game's challenge and excitement. And of course, you have the final showdown with Ganon, and that's a legendary battle that has become one of the most memorable moments in gaming history. The gameplay of The Legend of Zelda is legendary, with exploration, puzzle solving, and combat blending seamlessly into cohesive adventure. As you progress through the game, you'll find an array of items that are essential for your journey. It's definitely one of the things I love about the game. Many of these items are earned by completing dungeons, such as getting the raft, which allows you to travel across the open seas, or the bow, which lets you take down enemies, of course, from a distance. These items not only help you in combat, but also unlock new areas of the map, making exploration a rewarding and integral part of the game. But not all items are handed to you directly. Some are hidden throughout the vast world of Hyrule. For example, the magical sword, one of the most powerful weapons in the game, is hidden in the graveyard. And to obtain it, you need to push a specific gravestone to reveal a secret passageway. However, there's a catch. You can only take the sword if you have a certain number of hearts which adds an extra layer of strategy to your exploration. Growing up in the 80s and 90s, discovering these secrets was a game in itself. There was no internet, no YouTube walkthroughs, and player guides were few and far between. The closest thing we had was Nintendo Power Magazine, and if you missed the issue with Zelda tips, you were out of luck. We had to rely on our own wits, persistence, and maybe a tip from a friend to uncover the game's many secrets. Me personally, I didn't know anybody who beat Legend of Zelda. I was the only one, so I didn't have anyone that gave me tips. It was a time of pure discovery where every new find felt like a monumental achievement. This unofficial Super Nintendo port stays true to the original's control scheme, ensuring that the gameplay remains as tight and as satisfying as ever. So whether you're navigating dungeons, battling enemies, or discovering hidden secrets, the gameplay experience is just as exhilarating now as it was back in the day. Jumping in now to the graphics and the performance, you know, the art style, I would say the graphics of the original Legend of Zelda were groundbreaking for their time with that top-down perspective that allowed for expansive exploration. While they may seem simplistic by today's standards, the charm and artistry of Hyrule's 8-bit world are undeniable. And this Super Nintendo port doesn't radically alter the visuals, but it does smooth out some of the rough edges. And even when there's moments of some slowdown back in the day on the NES, you don't have that anymore on the Super Nintendo port, which was a pleasant surprise. And the game looks even better now on modern displays. I think the art style remains timeless, proving that great design can transcend technological limitations. All right, now here's where things get really exciting, guys. The original Legend of Zelda soundtrack is one of the most memorable in gaming history. 
with Koji Kondo's compositions perfectly capturing the spirit of adventure. But this unofficial Super Nintendo port takes things to a whole new level with a brand new CD quality soundtrack. The enhanced audio adds depth and richness to the experience making the familiar tunes even more captivating. But not only that, there's more. <laughs> not only does this version include the classic tracks we all know and love, but it also introduces new orchestrated tracks that elevate the experience to new heights. Like when I walked away from the game, that music was still playing in my head. It's very good. These new compositions blend seamlessly with the original music, creating kind of a, a soundscape that enhances the atmosphere and I think really does draw you deeper into the world of Hyrule. The sound effects are also faithfully reproduced, ensuring that every sword swing and enemy defeat feels satisfying. So who's this game for? The Legend of Zelda is for everybody. And that's proof of looking at games like Breath of the Wild sales. But whether you're a longtime fan who played the original back in the day like I did, or you're a newcomer looking to experience a piece of gaming history, this enhanced version offers something special. The game is approachable yet challenging, making it a great experience for both casual players and hardcore gamers alike. And with the new soundtrack, even those who have played the game countless times, again, like I have, will find something new to appreciate. When it comes to the game's difficulty, The Legend of Zelda is known to be a little bit hard if you go into it not knowing what you're doing, because there's not a lot of clues throughout the game. You just have to play it and explore. But for the most part, I would say it's a pretty balanced difficulty. The game encourages exploration and experimentation, rewarding players who take the time to discover its secrets. This Super Nintendo port retains the original difficulty, providing that perfect mix of challenge and reward. So whether you're navigating tricky dungeons or facing off against tough bosses, the difficulty level feels just right, keeping you engaged and motivated throughout your adventure. Now when it comes to the emotion and charm, playing this version of The Legend of Zelda was pure joy, especially with the new soundtrack. I'm like one of these people that just absolutely loves video game music, so new soundtracks like this on old games is something that to me is just so cool. And the enhanced music adds an emotional layer to the game, making the experience even more immersive. I think there's something magical about revisiting Hyrule with the new audio experience. It's kind of like rediscovering an old friend with a fresh perspective, you could say. The charm of the original game is still there, fully intact, but the updated soundtrack breathes new life into it, making the adventure feel as exciting and emotionally resonant as it did the first time I played it, which is hard to do. When it comes to the game's replay value, I've been playing The Legend of Zelda for over 30 years and it never gets old. The replay value of this game is through the roof, especially with this Super Nintendo port. The new soundtrack adds a fresh layer to the experience, making again it feel like a brand new game despite its familiar gameplay. You know, I still know where everything is. But that's not all. Once you complete the game, if you didn't know, you unlock a second quest, and the second quest reimagines the entire game with new dungeon locations and tougher enemies. And it ensures that even after you've beaten the main quest, there's still plenty of adventure left in Hyrule, and that was very rare to have something like that included in regular Nintendo games. All right, let's talk about the fun factor now. Revisiting The Legend of Zelda with its new soundtrack was an absolute blast because Again, I don't know what songs are going to come up when I enter certain dungeons or certain areas of the game. I know what the original songs are, so when I don't hear them, I'm like, okay, we got something new. All of the songs were new. There was nothing that carried over. It was either a fully orchestrated version of the song you know, or it was a different song, and I felt like everything fit really well. The core gameplay is as fun as ever, 
And again, the enhanced audio just adds a new dimension to the experience. So whether you're exploring Hyrule, solving puzzles, or battling enemies, the game is a nonstop thrill ride that keeps you hooked from start to finish, still to this day. The combination of nostalgia and new enhancements makes this one of the most enjoyable retro gaming experiences I've had in a long time. Depending on your familiarity with the game, The Legend of Zelda can take anywhere from 8 to 15 hours to complete. For seasoned players like myself, it, it's a lot quicker, but the game encourages exploration so you might find yourself spending more time uncovering every secret and hidden item. Let's talk about the legacy. The Legend of Zelda is not just a game. It's a cornerstone of gaming history. Its influence can be seen in countless titles that followed, shaping the action and adventure genre for generations. This Super Nintendo port is a testament to the game's enduring legacy proving that even after nearly four decades, which is so hard to believe, The Legend of Zelda still holds a special place in the hearts of gamers worldwide. And the addition of the CD quality soundtrack, including new orchestrated tracks, only cements its status as one of the greatest games of all time. All right guys, now for my final thoughts. The Legend of Zelda has always been a masterpiece, and this unofficial Super Nintendo port with its new CD soundtrack only enhances that experience. Whether you're a longtime fan or a newcomer, this version of the game offers something truly special. It's a perfect blend of nostalgia and innovation breathing new life into a classic that will forever be remembered as one of the greatest games ever made. If you haven't played the original Legend of Zelda in a while, or if you've never experienced it before, now is the perfect time to dive in and experience the magic all over again. Thanks for joining me on this epic journey through The Legend of Zelda with its stunning new Super Nintendo port and CD quality soundtrack. I hope you enjoyed this unique look at a classic game that's stood the test of time and now shines brighter than ever. If you loved revisiting Hyrule or discovering it for the first time, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what your favorite Zelda moment is. Huge shout out to the talented Infidelity for bringing this incredible port to life. If you want to learn more about his work, be sure to check out the description box below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay updated on all my latest reviews and retro gaming content. And if you're as excited as I am about more Zelda adventures, stay tuned because there's plenty more to explore. Until next time, I'll see you guys on the next video and remember, you're never too old to play video games.